Let's look at an example of entering a new insurance job from beginning to end. Start by selecting the New Job tab. This will open the job screen. Make it a habit to work systematically, entering information from left to right, top to bottom. Start by assigning your CSRs, reps, and techs from these fields here. Then move to the Customer section below. For new customers, enter the name and phone number here, which will create and save a new profile in your database. Additional contact information, such as emails or addresses, can be added to the profile at any time. Existing customers are searchable from this field. The customer's contact information will automatically be populated into the Schedule section for you. Use the drop-down fields to make changes to the location or contact for that particular job and complete this section by selecting the date and time of the proposed installation or repair. There are many helpful quick select options that can be used as well. Next, you'll complete the Bill 2 section. For an insurance job, use the information provided in the dispatch to add an insurance profile from this drop-down menu. Enter the insurance name and contact information from the profile screen. If adding a Lynx or SafeLight associated company, these quick select options will pre-populate the appropriate network contact information for you. Insurance rates can be found on your dispatch and will be entered from the Shop Settings tab and saved in the NAG's default pricing dropdown. Lastly, if desired, enable the EDI capabilities from the EDI tab here, then save. Complete the Build 2 section by entering the referral number, date of loss, and, if required, the deductible owed by the customer. For existing profiles already saved in the system, simply search by name using the search bar here. Next, we'll move to the vehicle section of the job. In this example, we're searching by the VIN. Once the correct vehicle is selected, you'll see the appropriate catalog of glass and associated parts from which to select from. Select the desired opening, then select the parts to be added to the invoice by clicking on the part tag. For custom parts, chips, recals, or labor-only line items, use these quick select options here. After adding your parts and items to the part list, publish the draft as a work order using the Save button at the top of the screen and selecting Work Order from the Menu drop-down button. Once published, you've completed the process of creating a new job in Glassbiller. If you have any more questions, please reach out to us through a support ticket in Glassbiller or by emailing support at glassbiller.com. And please like the video and subscribe to the channel to be notified as more training videos become available.